Good morning, class of 2018. I ask all guests and graduates to remain standing as the senior members of the choir take their places for the national anthem. You may be seated. Please join me in welcoming Senior Class President Jeremy Perillo to share welcoming remarks.
members of the Board of Education, distinguished guests, family and friends, staff of the high school, and most importantly, the class of 2018. Good morning and welcome. My name is Jeremy Perillo, and it is my honor to make the welcoming address to the class that I have proudly been class president for since sophomore year. Needless to say, our class has experienced its fair share of bumps along the road, especially in the last month alone. alone excuse me. But we not only survived, we flourished, with a little help from Eversource along the way. Our class has always proved resilient, enduring ups and downs here and there, as we have traveled from consolidated school all the way up to the hill to the high school. But along the way, we were able to enjoy our time here, with many time-honored new Fairfield traditions, our senior march on the first day of school, shed painting, junior and senior proms, breakfast at Elmer's, our class trips to Washington, D.C. and Hershey Park, as well as the second annual walkthrough of all the schools. I know that everyone sitting in front of me here today has worked hard and is prepared to move on. Whether it be college, the workforce, or the military, our development as adults will continue as we, and greaten as we enter the next stage in our life. I would like to recognize some people who have made this journey possible for the class of 2018. First off, to the faculty and staff of the high school who have prepared us for everything we may encounter in our course of life. We thank you. Each of you wants the very best for us and we are grateful for your influence and dedication. To the new, wonderful New Fairfield community who has supported us along our journey, we thank you for the, all of you have done. There are two special women who have worked tirelessly to ensure our high school years were memorable and most of all fun. Mrs. McDermott and Mrs. Barrere, thank you for all that, all that you have done for our class. It has not gone unnoticed. <laughs> and lastly, to our family and especially our parents, we have, who have done anything and everything to support us and see us succeed and prosper. We love you and we thank you. We know it's not easy dealing with sometimes, but we are truly grateful. On a more personal note, I would just like to say thank you to the class of 2018 for allowing me the opportunity of being your class president for most of our high school years. I hope you know how much I appreciate your confidence in me. I wish you all the best of luck. Have a good life, work hard, play hard, and make everything you do from here forward count. Congratulations and thank you. Good morning, parents, family, friends, and graduating seniors. It is my privilege to introduce to you the new Fairfield High School Class of 2018 Salutatorian. This year's Salutatorian is Jonathan Milovic. Jonathan has disting distinguished himself academically not only over the past four years, but throughout his tenure in the new Fairfield public school system. Several of Jonathan's teachers expressed their thoughts on his mathematical prowess and his willingness to help other students with math concepts. He has a strong passion and penchant for science as well. In terms of extracurricular activities, Jonathan was president of the Math Honor Society, was a member of Model UN, the Science Olympiad Club, FBLA, and the Spanish Club. Jonathan was also a member of the boys' soccer team, serving as captain this past fall. Jonathan will be attending the University of Connecticut Storrs campus in the fall with plans to major in management and engineering for manufacturing. Based upon Jonathan's experiences at New Fairfield High School, I expect he will excel and accomplish great things in the future. Again, it is my pleasure to introduce Jonathan Milovic class of 2018 salutatorian. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, teachers and administrators, honored guests, and most importantly, my fellow classmates of 2018. When Dr. Sanzo told me that I'd be giving a speech at graduation, I immediately set about doing what I and many of us do best, procrastinate. So I'm sitting down watching one of the World Cup games and I finally decide that I should start writing the speech because it's due in two days. Now I get really nervous when I talk in front of large groups, like I can't even give a presentation in class without trembling, so all I could think about was that there would be a few hundred people listening to what I'm saying. Absolutely terrifying. 
I concluded that it would be best if I were to take a quick nap, of course. Well, I wake up to find an email from Mrs. McDermott saying that our graduation will be live streamed. Uh oh. <laughs> Make that audience of possibly a few thousand. Now I'm really, really nervous, yet here I stand. I tried to find a general idea of how to write the speech, and I read a really good one online that used their school's motto. Well, I immediately looked up our school's motto and using the world's most reliable source, Wikipedia, it claimed that our motto was defying excellence. Well, my mom cleared that up and thanks to her I found out that it's actually defining excellence. Now that's something I can work with. Excellence is defined as being outstanding or extremely good, but how are we to judge if someone is defining or achieving excellence? Many will point to the GPAs of those in the top decile or the number of awards someone has gotten. But I believe there is much more to it. If you have ever worked your hardest for something, never giving up, then you have defined excellence. If you've ever worked through all of the stress and obstacles life has thrown at you, and even if you don't, didn't ultimately reach your goal, then you have defined excellence. Judging that we are all here, having survived those treacherous years of high school, we have all defined excellence. Freshman year was about finding our foothold and beginning our real first climb. Some of us may have found our place in sports like I did with soccer or in clubs, after school activities or other events. Whatever and however it may be, all of us were able to establish our place in high school and begin the hike. Honestly, sophomore year went by in a blur and I don't really remember much of it. What I do know though is that I was meeting more great encouraging teachers and friends. Junior year, although very stressful, I found was a lot more enjoyable due to the people I've surrounded myself with. In senior year, well, you never really understand how much you have enjoyed your time somewhere until you're about to leave it. When my last high school soccer game was over, I looked around and teared up a bit, but I smiled too. These people, my teammates, my friends, perhaps without knowing it, helped me throughout my time in high school and have prepared me for the future. And that's the thing. We have all defined excellence and are now graduating from high school, but barely ever have we taken the time to thank our supporters. Look around. Whether it be your family, friends, teammates, classmates, teachers, they have defined excellence through you. Whether they were cheering you on from the sidelines, providing that supporting arm, or coaching you on your trek, do not forget about them and remember that no matter how small their role may have seemed in your life, they contributed to making you the person you are now. Today is our day. Well, when you walk across this stage, signifying your graduation from high school and the end of one chapter and the beginning of the next, I want you to think about all of those who have touched your life and go out of your way to thank them. Those couple seconds it takes to do so is what it truly means to define excellence. In class of 2018, congratulations. And remember, we took on those tornadoes. We can handle anything. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Congratulations once again. It is my sincere honor to introduce the valedictorian for New Fairfield High School's class of 2018. This year's valedictorian is one who values knowledge and thought, has extensive drive and determination, and has a humility that is only matched by the care and compassion she affords to all those around her. With a record of success across all dimensions of our academic programs, it is particularly noteworthy that she is trilingual, having completed both an extended Spanish and full Italian sequence at our high school. These skills will serve and have served her well, given her keen interest and experience in international travel and international business relations. Notwithstanding her many and varied academic accomplishments, she has made contributions to our school, local, and regional communities while serving as captain of the volleyball team, volunteering with many service organizations, and participating in shaping our school as a member of the Student Senate. What impresses me most about this year's valedictorian is that she is a leader by example one who has not done all that she has for recognition or accolades, 
but for the intrinsic satisfaction that comes from making a difference in the lives of others. Whether tutoring through the National Honor Society, supporting intakes at the Danbury Soup Kitchen, being kind, volunteering at Ben's Bells, or giving of herself through her work in United Way's Youth Volunteer Corps, she has shown a deep commitment and passion for helping others. Attending the prestigious School of Industrial and Labor Relations at Cornell University this fall, I am certain that with her generosity of spirit, she will have a long and lasting impact on those across the globe who are lucky enough to be served by her and know her. As one teacher told me this week, there will be no dust settling upon her suitcase. For the impact this year's valedictorian is sure to have will extend far beyond the borders of our communities. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming and congratulating new Fairfield High School's valedictorian for the class of 2018, Ms. Avery Putnam. Fellow graduates, faculty, administration, friends, and family. It is an honor to be celebrating this day with you, a day that I know each and every single one of us has been looking forward to for at least the past four years. I listened to a lot of other valedictorian speeches to prepare for mine. There were common themes, avoid procrastination in the future, or never give up. But I decided to take a different approach and use these few minutes to emphasize individual milestones and personal successes. Let's face it, we all learn differently and traditional approaches to education aren't for everyone. Some of us are looking forward to spending the next few years learning in the classroom, while others are looking forward to pursuing a career that excites them in ways the classroom didn't. However we decide to approach the next chapters of our lives, every person in this room has their own methods, passions, and dreams. And we shouldn't let our successes or struggles during high school dictate what we hope to achieve throughout the rest of our lives. We all have our own accomplishments and we all have different priorities. Every person in this room is unique with their own goals and values and we should celebrate them. We need to celebrate them. We need to celebrate uniqueness and we need to celebrate personal milestones, no matter how big or how small. No matter what our opinions are of these personal milestones, we need to continue to celebrate each other. This year will be remembered for many things, and we will always think of the unexpected storm that gave us a week off from school. The storm affected some of the most exciting events of the year, such as the senior prom, as well as some of the most dreaded events of the year, like AP exams. Despite the moaning and groaning about ruined plans, which my parents can attest to, the destruction led to a greater sense of community. Friends helped friends, neighbors help neighbors, and strangers help strangers. Even driving home through the aftermath, I saw groups of people hopping out of trucks with chainsaws, cutting down trees so that other drivers could get home. And though it is an honor to stand up here in front of all of you, and it is an honor for New Fairfield High School to win several state championships this year, shout out to the boys and girls lacrosse teams, my greatest, <laughs> My greatest privilege has to been, has, excuse me, my greatest privilege and honor has been to be a part of this community and to see my classmates jumping at the opportunity to help anyone in need. These, among many others, are the most important personal milestones that will define us as high schoolers and ultimately as individuals. Regardless of what your post high school plans are, be sure you are proud of them. And if you aren't and find yourself questioning them, push yourself strive to reach your goals, and always continue to dream. Dreams and passions are so important. They become our goals and eventually our personal milestones that write our life stories. They give us both hope and pride. My grandfather, who unfortunately passed away earlier this year, always emphasized the importance of dreams to his children and grandchildren. So as my speech comes to a close, 
I want to leave you with, his, with the words he wrote while thinking about the future. There are those who do and those who don't. There are those who will and those who won't. There are those who plot and those who scheme, but the world belongs to those who dream. Thank you again to the families, faculty, mentors, administration, and friends who have invested their time in all of us to make today possible. I appreciate the time you've given me today, and most importantly, congratulations to the class of 2018. Thank you, Avery. Will the senior members of the band please take their places for the instrumental selection led by Ms. Deanna Rivers?
Good morning, members of the Board of Education, Dr. Roy, Dr. McKinnon, Mrs. Delmonico, Mrs. Hall, colleagues, family, friends, and most importantly, this exceptional class of 2018. Graduation days have always filled me with mixed emotions, whether as a teacher, administrator, or father, as yet another milestone is met in the lives of our children and students. Earlier this week, I watched as my oldest son, Carter, who is only four years old, graduate from pre-K and head off to the big kids' school. A few days later, as you paraded, through the halls of Consolidated, Meeting House, and the Middle School, seeing pictures of yourselves from the first years in New Fairfield. I couldn't help but think of the physical, emotional, and intellectual growth that each of you have had since receiving that first rolled up piece of paper when graduating preschool yourselves. The choices each of you have made and experiences you have had over your educational career have come to shape you as the graduates you are today. What you may not realize is that many of the lessons you learned during your time in New Fairfield will come to pay dividends well in the future. New learnings and experiences will connect with your past to ultimately lead you to innovative and novel ideas that have the potential to change your life and the lives of others. During his inspirational address to the graduates of Stanford University in 2005, the late Steve Jobs recounted how, after dropping out of college, he joined a calligraphy class that would more than a decade later have a dramatic influence on the development of the Macintosh. At the time, he could have never predicted that the skills he learned in that class would provide the inspiration for the typeface we now all know on billions of Macs, and as he would argue, copycat PCs worldwide. As he reflected upon this unpredictable chain of events, he lamented, you can't connect the dots looking forward, you can only connect them looking back. Despite not knowing that that particular calligraphy class would be far more useful than simply satisfying a curiosity, he knew of the importance of having a variety of life experiences because you just never know when even the most disconnected learning will come back to help you. While I'm certainly not advocating dropping out of college, the military, or the workforce before you've even started, I urge you to pocket and reflect upon this advice as you consider pathways that will take you off of your plan track and may appear risky. Don't be afraid to reevaluate your major. Enroll in a course that seems counter to your current interests. Engage with social groups that are unfamiliar or apply for a job that you may have never considered. Even when you can't see the potential value in a choice you've made, each of your encounters, past, present, future, big and small, resulting in triumphs and disappointments, will form a diversity of experiences that lay a foundation for your success, sometimes short-term, but most certainly long-term. Be confident that even when your life takes a turn that is unexpected, you have the ability to make the connections needed to persevere and know that your dots will one day fuse together to form the path you were intended to be on. I wish each of you the very best in the future and hope you will take paths both expected and unexpected. Navigate the ups and downs and draw upon all that you have learned in New Fairfield to realize success in whatever way you define it. Dr. Roy, thank you for your many years of dedicated service to the children and adults of New Fairfield. 
and for giving me the opportunity to serve this community and distinguished group of students. I am proud to present to you and the members of the Board of Education the new Fairfield High School class of 2018. Members of the new Fairfield Board of Education, Dr. McKinnon, Dr. Sanzelman Administrators, First Selectman Delmonico, Selectman Hall, advisors, faculty parents, friends of New Fairfield High School, and most especially the graduating class of 2018. We know that commencement means start or beginning. Today, we are celebrating all that you have achieved with us in the New Fairfield Public Schools, some as many as 13 years, and I have been here every step of the way with you. We are also eagerly awaiting all that you have yet to achieve, and as you leave us for your new beginning. It is never too late for new beginnings, and as you start yours, so too will I. Together, we will all use what we have learned from our years in the district to make us stronger, to make us wiser, and to make us better people. As I'm fond of saying, celebrating student achievement is one of my most favorite activities as superintendent. I'm very proud of your accomplishments, and I look forward to hearing of your continued success throughout your educational and professional careers. Earlier this month, I heard from a 2008 New Fairfield High School graduate, Samantha Scarnio, now Dr. Scarnio, who earned her doctorate in December from UConn and is now working at the university in a postdoctoral fellowship. Her brother, a 2012 New Fairfield High School graduate, is pursuing his doctorate at Duke. They are pursuing their passions, and I'm proud that we in New Fairfield provided the foundation and footing upon which these graduates have flourished. And these are examples from just one family. What will your legacy be? About what are you most passionate? Be passionate about whatever you do choose to do in life. This passion will be your best guide to doing not only what is right, but what is right for you. Live the life of your dreams with all of your passion, and that will bring you happiness. I thank you for allowing me to be a part of your lives, and I wish all of the best to each of you. Thank you. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Connecticut, I hereby attest to the new Fairfield Board of Education that these students have completed all graduation requirements set forth by the new Fairfield Public Schools and that they are entitled to their diplomas with all rights and privileges thereto. Good morning. On behalf of the members of the new Fairfield Board of Education, we would like to first congratulate the parents and families as you celebrate this wonderful day. As we look at our graduates sitting here, I would like to acknowledge our administrators, teachers, and staff for a job well done. And to the class of 2018, we congratulate you. We hope you always find time to put joy in your life, and we wish you success on whatever road you take to follow your dreams. Congratulations, 2018. Will Mrs. Kat Kosin, Dr. Roy, Dr. Sanzo, Mr. Chaplow, Mr. Rowetter, and Mrs. Stoley please join us in the presentation of diplomas as we call the name of each graduate. The senior class requests that the audience hold its applause until all diplomas have been awarded. Photographers are taking pictures of each graduate receiving his or her diploma. We kindly ask that you remain in your seats and not approach the stage so that we may have a clear path for all graduates to return to their seats. 
Will the first graduates please approach the stage? Avery Lee Putnam. Jonathan Zoran Milovic. Jeremy John Perillo. Hallie Nicole Nieves. Shannon Malloy Broderick. Jared William Prisborowski. <laughs> Mary Carmen Augustin Portillo. Rachel Anastasia Albertson. Rehan Asif. Kwaku Aurelian. Brandon Michael Otterino. Nicholas Anthony Azzolini. Amanda Barilli. Carson Anonio Berry. Ryan Michael Begley. Randy Rubinsky Benitez. <laughs> Dallas Robert Bennett. Erica Lindsay Bodnar. Anna Rose Balake. Paige Nicolette Botticelli. Sean Patrick Briggs. Chase Erickson Brindis. Gloria Ponce Rosito. <laughs> Catherine Barbara Brockner. <laughs> Ethan Harrison Burke. <laughs> Emily Rose Burns. <laughs> Kyle Justin Bussey. Andrew Jonathan Cadmus. <laughs> Olivia Marcella Kalo. <laughs> Jonathan Matthew Carlucci. <laughs> Matthew Clifton Carlucci. <laughs> Colleen Marie Carroll. <laughs> Drew Lawson Carroll. Jack Loyal Carter. Jessica Ann Cartosa. Fiona Grace Casey. Danielle Leanne Castellano. Caitlin Michelle Chen. Cristiano Paolo Seattle. Mark Shiseski. 
Karina Marie Clavel. Ryan Patrick Cleary. Amy Rose Cole. Sydney Rose Collantine. Brian Gavin Consiglio. Laura Mercedes Contreras. Justina Corgi. Jenna Nicole Darcy. Lauren Elizabeth Dean. Zachary Ryan Delden. Dominique Michelle DeMarsico. Alyssa Catherine Tonight. Rebecca Nicole DeRose. Vincenzo Anthony DiMaggio. Natalie Dunoff. Matthew Thomas Dunn. Lorcan Henry Dunn. Richard Allen Elberger. Carly Susanna Esposito. Blake Andrew Evans. Joseph James Evans. Caitlin Francis Evans. Melissa Ann Evans. Sarah Ann Farney. Ava Lynn Fernand. I'm sorry. Jeleni Annette Fernandez. Sorry. Zachary Elliot Picara. Nathaniel Muse Fields. Nicholas Anthony Filardo. Richard A. Flandro. Christopher Charles Folan. Alexis Cassandra Castro Formiga. Brian Michael Forsberg. Christopher John Forsberg. Eric Anthony Garcia. Alexander Nathan Garden. David Lee Garneco Lopez. Wesley Lawrence Gasparino. James Michael Generali. Robert Joseph Generali. Dana Decker Jardina. Jack Tyler Giuliano. Troy Matthew Gladstone. <laughs> Jonathan Francis Godbout. Justin Kyle Goichman. Scott Thomas Hallis. Isabella Sophie Harkoff. 
Bryce Christian Harder. Morgan Elizabeth Hasseltine. Cormac Ryan Hennessy. Tyler Joseph Harity. Kenneth Edward Hesselbacher. Jessica Patricia Heiler. Nicole Elizabeth Iaquinto. Allison Marie Johansson. Matthew Robert Johnson. Mark Bernardo Jonas. Sierra Bailey Joyce. Ethan Samuel Camps. Bridget Erin Kenny. Jay Stanton Kilcourse. Sean Patrick King. Sophia Mina Maria Cleopolis. Tyler Felipe Kosenko. Stella Reina Kozlowski. Matthew Bennett Leach. Lauren Marie Lombardo. Zachary Andrew Ludden. Kimberly Leslie Magana. Alexandra Francis McGee. Juliana Maglio. Cameron Christopher Mancuso. Jessica Rose Marcus. Amanda Marie Marsh. Damiante Rose Martinez. William Earl Martinson. Nicholas Mastrasinque. William John Matamore. Kaylee Ellen McAllister. Karina Marie McCarthy. Bridget McCollum. Robert Edward McCormick. Eleanor Grace McHugh. Daniel Christopher McInerney. Jill Allison Myers. Marcus Xavier McCarsky. Aaron Michelle Monahan. Sophie Lee Montana. Ryan Campbell Moore. Ryan James Muir. Carmine Lorenzo Muratori. Kelly Zhao Murtha. Arena Victoria Nanocchio. Dana Therese Nevins. 
Joseph Peter Nieves. Jared Richard O'Connor. Thomas Daniel O'Donnell. Rachel Ann O'Ring. Perry Joseph Ordway. Edward Thomas Orloff. Emily Ann Orloff. Andrew Solomon Ortiz. Mora Elizabeth Pate. Douglas Robert Pete. Summer Rose Parati. Amber Marie Perry. Anthony James Perry. Kirsten Ann Pimentel. Tiffany Ann Palacastro. George Frank Cortaro. Ilariana Ratsai. Vanessa Summer Rains. Lila Rose Rack. Jason Daniel Rakowski. Corey James Router. Michael James Remley. Kyle Robert Rettinger. Gabriel J. Reyes. Sophia Lynn Ryans. Victoria Townsend Rieger. Rebecca Lee Ryder. Alexandra Ray Rivera. <laughs> Joshua Rabidis. Lily Amelia Mancini. Thomas Stephen Rowe. Sean Daniel Rowan. Michael Christian Rufino. Adam J. Russo. Brian Anthony Sacco. Cameron James Savage. Caitlin Marie Shapak. Anna Michelle Shushath. Isabella Rose Schofield. Lauren Ashley Schofield. Kayla Camille Sefner. Matthew Anthony Solano. Hadley Elise Starr. Andrew Riley Stelzel. Natalie Nicole Stepniak. Natalie Elise Stoffel. Megan Catherine Stroh. 
Jace Joseph Stunkard. Colleen Ann Swanhart. Rosalie Madison Taylor. Luis Robert Toscano. Jillian Shea Turner. Vladimir Vasquez. Juliana Monte Viglucci. Jason Scott Vitrit. Drew Evan Von Wern. Alexander Charles Waters. Austin James Henry Watson. Alexei Nicholas Worth. Daniela Anna Robel. Meredith Grace Yoho. Meredith Ann Youngblood. Sydney Alexandra Zenka. Robert Grant Zerzola. Now let's give the class of 2018 a resounding round of applause for all that they have accomplished. Will the senior members of the choir please take their places for the choral selection led by Mr. Andrew Gadwa?
Good morning. We are the class of 2018 class officers. Congratulations on getting through and succeeding in these past 12 years of our education. Some of us have been in the same graduating class since kindergarten, and some of us joined in later on. But no matter where we started, we're all here today celebrating our hard work and dedication. These past 12 years have prepared us for the, for the future, sorry. And we all start the next chapter of our lives. I'd like to give some advice from Ellen DeGeneres. Follow your passion. Stay true to yourself. Never follow someone else's path. Unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path, then by all means, you should follow that. <laughs> Before we continue, I would like to give special thanks to all the people that have helped us get here today. Thank you to our families and friends, our teachers and our mentors, the administration, Board of Education, the PTO, and of course, Ms. Barrier and Mrs. McDermott. Congratulations to my fellow classmates of the class of 2018. These past four years have truly been a memorable experience that we will all cherish forever. As we reflect on our years at New Fairfield High School, we remember not only the time spent in the classroom, but more importantly, the long-lasting friendships, memories, and accomplishments we've made together. We have so much to be proud of. Academically, we stand together as the first class to complete the one-to-one -one computing program. As the guinea pigs for this program, we, pa <laughs> we paved the way for many students to follow in our footsteps in completing a multifaceted education. Athletically, we made history, winning a boys and a girls state lacrosse championship in the same year, 2018. Through all the class trips, clubs, football games, plays, and concerts, we've truly done and seen it all together. Class of 2018, you made this high school experience unforgettable and something much bigger than just academics. Although we are going our separate ways, New Fairfield High School will always hold a special place in our hearts. First, I'd like to start off by saying congratulations to the class of 2018. Unfortunately, our courtyard was not resilient to the tornado we had endured just last month. Some trees in our courtyard have fallen in our need of being replaced. In honor of our class, we would like to leave behind our legacy by donating a tree to the courtyard for future seniors to enjoy. We hope this tree can restore beauty and offer inspiration to the growth of future students. And we have one last special thank you. Please give a round of applause to someone who has dedicated many years to the education of the students of New Fairfield, our superintendent, Dr. Alicia Roy. Now, before we close, we have one last thing to do together as a class. We please ask that you all stand up and join us. As we move our tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2018. You are now graduated. Toss your, your caps! caps. Congratulations once again to the class of 2018. <laughs> to conclude the ceremony, the graduates will exit in a formal recessional led by junior class president Mitch Kindred and vice president Hannah Rigoglioso.
a special thank you to them for ushering in our students today. Mrs. Rivers will conduct the band as they play the recessional. I ask everybody to please remain standing and in your seats until our graduates have exited. Thank you, Mrs. Rivers.